us fall behind. We all depend on federal public service workers to be here for Canada. But our bills, our families, our futures can't wait. Workers can't wait. None of us can. Show your support at workerscantwait.ca. A message from the Public Service Alliance of Canada. Time now for the weekend business report. I'm Chris McCusker. Data shows Canadians have been shopping with an increase in retail spending in February. And this is being viewed as a good thing for the Canadian economy. Stephen Sadov is former chairman and CEO at SAC and senior advisor to MasterCard. This MasterCard spending pulse data is not just the MasterCard data, it's a full read of the uh, overall uh, varying forms of tender, including cash, debit, etc., and other credit cards. So uh, the uh, consumer was spending during February. There's, uh, the growth was 2.6%, excluding autos versus a year ago. So they're spending, but remember, you have inflation going on. So they're spending at a somewhat, what I would call, tempered rate. Uh, and they're being very particular in how they're spending. Uh, interestingly, they're shopping back in stores. The growth in stores was plus 4.1%, and the online was minus 3.1%. So this is a real shift from during the pandemic. Now, spending is up in things like apparel, but then down in things like home improvement. Well, I think we're reverting back to the norm, meaning that some of the categories that were winners are now losers, and the categories that were losers are now winners. Uh, I think we are moving into a post-pandemic uh, period. The trend that I'm talking about has actually been around now for a few months. So this shift away from the home and electronics into the apparel, the experiential, people going out into restaurants. Uh, uh, I think that that's a, a trend that's going to be around for a little bit. So despite higher inflation, you point out people are still shopping. It's great data, and I think it's a very good uh, insight into the health of the Canadian consumer. Stephen Sadov is Senior Advisor to MasterCard. And at the City News Business Center, I'm Chris McCusker. Get hooked on Bolt Plus. Bolt Plus is your fastener specialist, plus so much more. Check out their massive showroom filled with an extensive inventory of industrial and safety supplies, such as abrasives, adhesives, and lubricants, anchors, storage bins, paints and coatings, cutting tools, chain hooks, and wire rope, plus a huge stock of DeWalt, Bosch, and Milwaukee power tools. Let their knowledgeable staff source your hard-to-find items. Bolt Plus, proudly Canadian-owned and operated. Many locations to serve you including our newest location in Orangeville. Shop online, boldsplus.ca. Hey there. Are higher interest rates preventing you from becoming a real estate investor? Hi, I'm Todd C. Slater, The Simple Investor. Join me on Thursday, April the 27th at 7 p.m. for our Simple Seminar webinar. Learn how to own investment real estate in this higher interest rate market, and we'll be announcing a new release with positive cash flow. To register, go to thesimpleinvestor.com. The Simple Investor. We make the world a real estate investment simple. Now, City News Regional Weather Conditions for Hickory Dickory Decks. Canada's number one deck builder, Hickory Dickory Decks, has built over 35,000 beautiful decks and has the widest range of low-maintenance decking. Visit decks.ca and enjoy life outdoors. In downtown Toronto right now, a clear sky and 7 degrees. City News Time, 10 o'clock. Toronto's number one for breaking news, traffic, and weather. This is City News 680, everywhere. Good evening, it's Sunday, the 9th of April. I'm Mitch Burr. I'm Sofia Favarusos. Here's what's making news right now. A Toronto man is facing several charges after what the Islamic Society of Markham calls a hate-motivated attack at a mosque last week. Here's hoping you'll get one more sleep.